one person doing this here right now in this chat. Um, well, I mean, you guys just did it with the California law where you thought that it was just making it so gays could give people AIDS easier. I don't think you initially happened. tried to straw man me by saying I was a Jordan Peterson fan, in which I promptly replied that I don't like I didn't Jordan straw Peterson. man you into being a Jordan Peterson fan. I asked you if you heard it from Jordan Peterson because it's clear that you didn't. And you legal... continue to mark oh, along the lines court. as if someone well, did. I was mocking you because you haven't read the article about the law. It's clear you haven't because you weren't able to provide the reason for why the law was passed. So you clearly consumed this from a secondary or tertiary source that gave you their own biased version of it and because you were not familiar with the reason why it was so, well, i don't know anything about this destiny guy he's a he's a, a septic troll right is that his deal no that's what you guys he's actually opposed to them so it's whatever yes yeah, sir he's a I, I don't know what he is <laughs> he's a stream it it might not apply to you specifically but it's a about people. i think he's been perfectly reasonable at this point <clears throat> yeah, your mark's a bit fucked at the moment. Um, yeah, I'm trying to fix it. I have no idea. So, uh, I've heard a lot about you, Destiny. Well, actually, I haven't. So, what's your deal? What, what are you? I'm just a. I, would let, I play video games on the internet. That's what I do. And I talk play about video games sometimes. on the internet. Okay. Yeah. So, you're a video game streamer? Yeah. All right. Why. If you're a video game streamer, what's your relationship to JF? Um, we've had disagreements in the past because I believe he exhibits an extreme dishonesty uh, regarding most of the arguments that he makes online. I think he's very intellectually dishonest. Claim okay. that, back that doesn't seem like the province of a video game streamer to get involved in. Uh... Yeah, I do. I divvy a lot of my content up now between like philosophy and politics as well. So I guess we've kind of stepped into that realm now. Probably would have been safer to have stayed in your room, eh? Um, no, I feel actually pretty safe out here. Um, if people That's like right. JF are the main opposition, I, I feel pretty safe out here. JF is the main opposition, not Sargoy of Mossad or any of these other people. J um, as much as I don't like what JF says, I would never put him on the same level as Sargon. He's, Sargon is a pretty stupid guy. Oh my god. I see. So, so you're... Are you the guy who's sort of opposed to everybody just because... That's your thing. That's my thing. So I like it when people think reasonably. That's what I like. So what I try to do is I try to break down uh, stories or policies or um, philosophy in ways where the arguments are reasonable and everybody's argument is like rooted in fact-based um, stories. That's what I do. So if somebody has like a, like a bill that they don't like and everybody's saying like, oh God, it's going to destroy the world. What I like to do is I like to say, okay, well, here's what the bill actually says. And then here are the arguments that you could make about this bill. That's what I like to do. He's been considered a neoliberal, if that gives you any sort of idea, but it's fine. Whatever. No, that's the mistake. You're opposed to race realism. I'm sort of looking at you now. I mean, I don't know if I'm opposed to race realism. Um, I just don't like a lot of the normative claims that stem from race realism. And then I'm undecided on the descriptive side of things. I don't know about that yet. I'm, I'm doing my own. W which kind of normative claims? Um, the construction of ethnostates or the idea that we should treat groups of people differently based on some perceived genetic difference. So you're uncomfortable with making sweeping generalizations. That's what you're saying. It's all about the individuals. Uh, well, no, I'm uncomfortable with treating uh, different humans differently than one another. I'm a big fan of, um, I, I guess, like what? equal treatment, um, philosophically speaking. Um, I, I don't know. There's but people, people naturally and almost axiomatically treat people differently instinctually i mean this is not something you can correct fine, for I, well you can correct for it um i don't know you can't it. well you we do every day i mean with our entire really why society. why do tall tall people earn an average 15 percent more than short people why don't why, tall should, why people we not walk correct around for and this kill efficiency? short people to steal their mates i i mean i'm not saying the system is perfect well, but they don't need to they don't need to they get the they get the mates uh instead of the short people I'm, I'm sorry, hold on, because you, no, 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 stop, because you don't believe the argument that you're making right now, so I'm not sure why you're making this argument. Why do you, well, no, 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 what is the argument I'm making, the argument I'm like making is that... you're making some argument that morality can be derived from biological fact, which is absurd. No, 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 gods, man, okay, now the rumors have proven themselves true. What I'm arguing is that we do not treat people equally, uh, intentionally, unintentionally, this is just the way the world is. Okay, uh, we might not do it in a perfect way, but our society is structured around treating people more equally than we would 
uh, otherwise. It's structured around the delusion, yes. Okay. And the reason why we have this, I don't know if you're an SJW, you might be, I've, I don't know anything about you, but there, in as much as SJWism is a manifestation of um, inequality, uh, I think there's a fundamental flaw in this perception that we, we treat everyone equally, because That's it's just not true. Okay, Clarify so this. We, we might not treat everybody equally right now, but we strive for equal treatment in society, I guess, would be a clearer way of stating my position. Well, to clarify even further, people have different needs, and those needs need to be attended to differently. Sure. Mm, that, but this, this striving has failed us. How has it failed us? Well, uh, hmm, I'll take our friend, the wandering Wojak, who happens not pr present here. A guy uh, who was effectively born into white trailer trash, smart guy, did really well. Could not find the, the slightest shred of financial aid because he's male and he was white. Now, if he's capable but poor, don't you think he should have gotten help? But he didn't uh, because he's not black and he's not a minority. So because now, of a single failure, you think that points to a failure? Not a single failure. Not a, not a single failure. It's, 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 I think at this stage it's pretty systematic that if you are not the right skin color or the right gender and you're poor, and this is one example, and you do well, you're academically competent, you're not going to get the help that you need, ideally. Clearly he wasn't that academically competent if he wasn't able to qualify for any sort of scholarships or anything. Uh, <laughs> got him. I don't know. That's not really fair. And, uh, well, I mean, you say academically competent, like he was like, what, like a 4.0 student and he couldn't get into any school? That's not true. No, he did, he had, but he had, to, he had to foot the bill entirely on his own. Yeah, so he didn't get a scholarship or anything. So he probably wasn't like a he couldn't get a school. Well, what scholarship he's going to get as a white male? There are tons of There's scholarships of available to academically inclined students. Are you trying mm. to tell me that you don't think white people get scholarships anymore? Well, he he didn't, and he couldn't get okay, loans because like he, he has probably, no family. Then he probably lost out to the other white kids that outcompeted him. I see. Okay. Well, I'm sorry, do you think that an organization that provides funding for scholarships for Hispanic students, if they wouldn't provide that scholarship, that they would somehow magically provide the money to white students? Like, I don't know, it's just a very strange that because your white friend didn't get into school because you didn't have good enough, or, or rather didn't qualify for scholarships, that this is somehow the fault of, of somebody of a different skin color? I don't know, that's an absurd argument. Not the make. fault of a different skin color, but the fault of a policy which favors minorities for the sake of them being minorities over objective objectively better students just because he has the wrong skin color all right let's run down this rabbit hole so why do you think scholarships sometimes favor minorities because of the perception that minority people that is hispanic people black people native americans do women, not yeah. and and women yes we we mustn't forget the women uh are are disadvantaged in our society and they need to be given a leg up so they can climb up the ladder Okay, so do you not believe that there are any disadvantages inherent to being a black person or a woman in the United States? It depends on how you perceive disadvantages, but I mean, yes, people are not equal. People are not the same. Okay, so you're kind of weaseling out into Stop. Stop typing. Stop people typing. are not equal. Nobody is making the claim that all people are equal, but we can make the claim, or people believe that we can make the claim, that certain groups of people on average are disadvantaged versus other groups. Do you disagree with that claim? And and how well yes the average IQ of a black person is lower than the average IQ of a white person so you can call that a disadvantage sure okay so uh -huh. if we seek to remedy a disadvantage like this with increased access to education for these groups of people do you think uh, that's a wrong thing it depends uh, a person with a lower IQ will, will be uh, less capable of making use of the education. Than a person oh, you believe that IQ is completely immalleable, that this is intrinsic to you as a, as a person? Uh, well, the, depending on the studies you look at, uh, and well, once you reach adulthood, we're talking about a heritability of uh, 0.75 or 0.8. That's pretty high. Sure, but that's not what heritability means. Um, uh, no, I, well, heritability describes the differences as between... Uh, the environment, the environmental factors, and the non-environmental non factors. Sure, but heritability say, won't explain the differences in IQs between groups of people. Uh, how would it not? It does. It doesn't. 
Yes, okay. it does. So let me give you an example of a trait that has a very high heritability, okay? It's okay. Shh. I won't even charge you guys for this, okay? So let's look at a, let's look at something like height, okay? Let's look at something like height. Height is something that genetically is a very high heritability. It's like 0.95 or something. It's incredible. No, high. it's about 0.8 actually. Okay, but point, anyway. 0.8. Okay. Very very high heritability for for something like height, okay? Now, you can take two people that are genetically very similar that will grow to be 6 feet tall that can be put into different environments where one person will grow up to be four and a half feet tall or five feet tall and the other person will grow up to be their their same height you can't explain the difference in height between these two people where one person could have experienced a poor prenatal environment a poor adolescent environment where they had uh difficult times getting access to food before the growth plates close and all of that yeah, shit. Yeah, we, where we you can have a massive difference yes, between these two yes. people. yeah yeah we're, we're not talking about the starving plains of africa the here heritability refers to the potential okay. but height, so, so not yeah, your sure. actual height so you can't fully explain it by genetic factors sure exactly so heritability influence. here will not help you explain the differences in iq it if the environments you. are very different if the are, environments are very different explained. are ghetto black people starving to death i i was unaware i mean there's Prenatal environments are yeah are actually an issue yeah sure between people, there's a decent number of people that have trouble getting access to food in the United States. Now, I can't claim that sure, that explains sure. everything. There's tons of you different see. issues. But right. all I'm saying, so it's funny that you bring up this particular issue, though, because I remember that our conversation started off with you saying. Heritability of IQ is about 0. 0.75, 0. 0.8. This is confirmed by studies. Sure, but heritability know. doesn't explain the variance in IQ between groups of people because environmental That's factors can end up. Heritability. What? So you're saying that if 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 the environment uh, were perfectly equal, everyone would have identical IQ potentials as well as height potentials. Um, probably not with height, but maybe with high Q. I'm not sure. Why 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 is the brain this unique? Uh, it seems to me you're committing the below the neckline flaws. Why is the brain the most expensive organ in, in the body? Uh, this thing that sort of floats in the ether that is not. Uh, affected by the other differences that you are willing to concede that uh, not everyone would have the same height, not everyone would have the same eye color, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Why? Why is the brain different? Um, I, I don't know. It may or may not be. I'm not sure. I, I don't think this appealed to like. Well, some. Why do you assume? But why is the base assumption on people like yourself's part that the brain is identical, but everything else or, or many other things? Are not why is that the why not just assume because every, so many other things are different that the brain too is different in its potential. I mean, I'd rather remain agnostic towards it and work towards improving what we're able to improve. Um, uh, this conversation started off with you asking me what normative claims. This I had just problems seems like a with. given to me. Cool, and you are now stating to me that you would be okay with policies that would remove education from black people because you believe that it's wasted. I said, whoa, 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 whoa. I so, see what you're doing there, buddy. I, well, I earlier, okay, I'm sorry. I'm okay. It sounded to me, I'm sorry, it sounded to me, so you can correct me if I'm wrong on this, but it sounded to me like you said, why would we give education to certain black people if they have a lower average IQ because it might be wasted on them? Am I mischaracterizing? If, if an saying? adult, a per, if, 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 okay. If there are two people of different racial origin, you know, and one, one of these people has, uh, say, 120 IQ, the other person has a... 95 IQ, and they have different academic performance. One happens to be black, one happens to be white. Um, yeah, it's a waste. I would also argue that if the black person is the one who has 120 IQ and the white person has a 95 IQ and poor IQ, then the black person should be favored. I, uh, I have been called an IQ nationalist, so it's not really an I a re accurate term, but I think the, the person who's most qualified and most capable should be given the, the aid not based on skin color, but effectively cognitive performance. But it just so happens that there are, in the United States, in terms of distribution, more people in the uh, white group who are cognitively competent than the black uh, group. And, as, and white, and in this case, then, <clears throat> those people should be getting the, <clears throat> the aid. So, out of curiosity, uh, that would mean you'd be, you know, since you're advocating for a meritocratic system, you'd be okay with, you know, if Jews and uh, Asians outcompeted whites in certain respects, you'd be okay with them uh, continuing? This is a complicated issue. Uh, regarding, uh, well, the issue, the issue, this is an issue we bring up, Asians in particular. In the United States, Asians have to outcompete other Asians because the standards are actually higher for them. So, if you get an Asian who 
fits into say the I'm just making this up. I don't. I have to look the 91st percentile of some category, but the 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 Asian mean is say 95. Then uh, and but this age, same Asian outperforms uh, blacks, Hispanics, and whites. Then he he's probably not gonna get the position or get into the university that he wants to. On that, um, I think there is another. Um, there is actually a recent. Uh, court case that I think was opened up at Harvard for uh, discrimination. Uh, Asians were the ones who opened the case up. Yeah, exactly. But that's the, that's the whole point, is that Asians are held to a different standard. Um, now, regarding Jews, that's a complicated issue. Um, <clears throat> because, uh, yeah, of certain social factors. Yeah. I'm, uh, I, I, I'm kind of undecided on this. Uh, on this particular issue. But I do think that, in general, uh, provided there aren't toxic ideologies involved, the meritocratic system is, is probably the, the best one. Um, hey, Obo, hey, I'm curious. Would IQ be your like top phenotype that you'd want to build a society around? Well, I've said this publicly on my channel that this experiment I would like to see run is a an IQ state, a, a state of people from all different groups of exceptionally high IQ versus an ethno state. What would be like um, your is, next? What would be like your next three phenotypes that you would want? Like your top next three things that you would look for in an individual? Uh, well, um, probably. Uh, strong individualist traits, which likely would be much more common in European populations by default, but nevertheless, uh, in as much as uh, that would be possible, then yeah, something like that. You didn't list anything. Would, would skin color be in your top 10? I'm not obsessed with skin color. Okay. I mean, I happen I to be always, white. But I'm not the I'm question not I kind of want to hear JF talk about more is like what phenotypes he actually wants to uh, push forward, I guess, in his society. I don't think he would want to push forward for any because he's a libertarian. So, and he's a no, he's, he he's has a, said that he thinks that an ethno state could potentially lead to greater freedom in the future, and so it might be worthwhile. It might, but then again, he's a very specific type of ethno nationalist. He's a uh, Quebecois ethno nationalist. So, what well, values think, does he see in the Quebecois that he values? I uh, don't want to speak for JF. I've only briefly spoken to him on the issue. So, sure. Oh, I guess I was more asking, you know, because I never do think that. Um, he has a preference for his people. That's pretty much it. He likes his culture. But the point I wanted to bring up was, um, you know, one thing that I've been thinking why the race realism debate actually has political relevance, which is something that a lot of skeptic and skeptic type people have been questioning, is um, if you do have a meritocratic system, okay, and you do have racial groups with different propensities for IQ, and IQ is strongly correlated with financial success, the result of this will be a stratification of social class based on race, right? And so right. you will have a perception of intense discrimination where there isn't necessarily any, and massive social problems and racial tension. <clears throat> so that's one of the major things I'm worried about. How do we address that? We, we, we already have that problem. I mean, look at the... still How many times right, right. Well, the past the, 10 years... The all right the, would say we already have that problem. The leftists would say that problem doesn't exist at all. I'm saying, you know, <laughs> even the left should be able to imagine a situation in which that occurs. And then think about that. Well, once again, you don't need to use, I mean, the whole 72 cents to a dollar thing. There's still people in the current year, as they say, arguing that women are <clears throat> systematically discriminated against based on their, on their gender in terms of their pay, not factoring in all the other things that contribute to, on average, uh, women not earning as much as men. Now, uh, this is due to inherently different uh, psychological traits and, and temperament and behavior in men and women. Um, but the perception is, at least in the mainstream still, for some bizarre reason, that uh, women are systematically discriminated against. Do you not 
do you not see how like maybe telling people that like women do this job and men do these jobs might push people towards doing those sorts of jobs? No, because of their, that you're looking, you're ignoring the Scandinavian paradox in places like Scandinavia, like Norway, where people have complete freedom. Those are the places where women tend to do the most quote unquote womenly jobs and men the most manly jobs. Yeah, yeah, but can, you, can you define like what you mean by complete freedom? They can choose anything they want. They can go in any profession they want. Uh, they can. They have no limitations. And yeah, yeah but, that, but that's been that's been America, right? But in like pretty much most of the Western world. But even even then, when we're talking about students and children or people that are looking up to adults and looking at culture, right? When you're making choices long term about what your future potential career might be, right? Maybe a girl who thinks that only like w like women are nurses and like men were doctors or something like that, maybe she would like look into that more uh, like instinctively when she's looking at her career path. Or maybe the guidance counselor might recommend nursing before he recommends going to med school, right? Like these sorts of things could have long term trends and like impacts. You seem not to understand basic differences in sex. No. Uh, sex. Not to forget. Hold on. How do you? How do you just? How do you just dismiss that? If like your guidance counselor, when you're choosing your career as a teenager, right? If he recommends to you nursing first because he feels that women do nursing, so maybe you would like it more as a girl. That that might like kind of alter the odds that you would go into nursing versus like being a doctor. Right, what's your you're, so you're in denial of sex. Right? Interesting. Who are, who are all these people that so this is don't where, believe this is in, the, in genetic differences? These are all the normative claims that I was talking about. In denial of that. So the, the last typo believes that there are these key genetic differences between men and women. There are these key genetic differences between the races. So all of his normative claims will stem from these. So his platform is unshakable. Don't waste education on minorities because they're too dumb. Don't uh, I didn't say that. differences between men or women I, because I, I didn't women say that. Will always do what they want. Like it's a, a complete and total disregard for the. Why are you speaking in third person, Joel? What? Why, why are you speaking for him? He just. Well, this he is just, the argument. So make just, well, 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 let him talk to him then. Destiny, he did. I mean, he did I mean just... the man's literally here. I mean, I don't understand. What well, he no, like guys, guys, well, he really literally sad. just. Guys, why did he quote, 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 guys, guys, calm down for one second. Like when presented with a thing, like, hey, this might actually have a substantial impact, right? Not even ruling out that maybe there are like differences in sex and whatnot, right? Maybe there, maybe instead of like let's say eighty percent nurses of like women or whatever fake fucking number, right? Maybe without like all these social pressures, we would only have like like. 60% or 70%, right? That maybe there is a social pressure like contributing heavily to these numbers. Right, there's Why did the social pressures arise in the first place? Are there, are there, is there well, they mean they could, they could be, they maybe, could be maybe, cyclical, maybe, right? Were, were they the genetic? In the morning, is there any evidence? Could, or, or we just gotta have maybe, maybe a play a part in this. Well, my question here is if these, if there are these social pressures, first of all, what do they stem from? And second of all, how do we address these? And can we address them in a way that is not just explicitly social engineering for specific political purposes? There's social pressures because it's genetic for those pressures to even occur in the first place. You've right, got a mic, by the way. Dr. Z. What on earth has happened to JF Surfer? Why do we have SJWs here? I mean, I don't mind. In I've been here longer than you've been here, dude. Fuck off. Welcome back, uh, Delta. To, nice to, see to you make again. a note, uh, La Sabo, basically, uh, Destiny and a bunch of his fans have joined the server and we're having. I see. Uh, this is why we have these uh, oh, biology but, deniers. The last. Oh, right, but, uh, I, don't I believe they have a denier. word for it. I well, believe they you have guys, a word Are you guys for social it. deniers? Yeah, I don't think uh, Destiny is being a social justice. Also, I'd, I'd like to go entirely against your point that women are discriminated against in first world nations as bullshit. The only reason that we end up mostly in like roles that are community um, oriented is because of our natural um, preference for nurturing roles in itself. We have wait, hold on, but then like hold on, but then why do we see trends changing, right? If like this is one hundred percent biology and like society hasn't done, then wouldn't like because social engineering so and this SJW shit not mm -hmm. move the needle at all? Why do societies arise in the first That's place? Point. That's a good point because. You can't. You're going to see a change due to social engineering because we've somehow got this idea that we are above our own instinctual um, drives, which right. is. It's you're going to see. This is why you have women that will go, oh, I want some bait at fucking cock. 
that will oh, like this and whatever the fuck I want to see, and point. then Wait, actually go for the guy that's like really Mandy instead. Well, it's it's perfectly uh, obvious. Don't them want. If you guys, admit the guys. influence of social engineering, then you have to admit the in potential influence of engineering in the other direction or natural social forces that push women in the other direction. Because it's not a binary; it's a spectrum along which women can choose. So if social engineering can affect them one way, then obviously social forces can push them the other way. You can't you can't eliminate the social factor. Well, it's perfectly obvious that you can put a man on a hamster wheel and make him generate electricity. The question is whether or not this is an undue burden on his drives. <sighs> Whatever that means. <laughs> no, what, no, what do you mean? I mean, no, no.